Hey, it's TR back with another episode of my truck capper renovation series. Today, we're continuing to rebuild the front here, and I've been kind of working out what I need to get done in what order. And so I think I've got that, and that's going to be to build the bed frame. So I think going forward, the rest of the structure I'm going to need is it's going to come out of the bed frame. Uh, because this piece here, this piece here goes right here and it's notched to sit over the end of this piece right here. And so I was kind of working this out. And if this sits in here like this or something like that, then uh, I need something to hold this up because I really have nothing to mount this to. Uh, I've got the top rail and then this is a, uh, you know, this is a flush surface. And so I'm gonna need that bed frame in here to hold this all up. Basically what this was is it worked out to be this way. So it was inch and a half thick, so that meant two by four. It was two and an eighth down here, one inch up here. And then this angle worked out to about 57. I cut it to 60 or 30, whichever you prefer. All right, we're good to go. Sorry about all the hammering back there, but they're putting in a new AC system, so it sounds like they're going through the foundation. I got this piece cut. Now we can go build the base. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out the structure here. And it's weird, it's spaced, they're spaced differently. So it used to be one by two, then a two by two all the way across, and then another one by two, and then a one by two on the back. I think this one by two in the back is probably okay. But I am going to beef up these ends to two by twos. Irregardless, I'm just curious about what the spacing here is. Nine and a half. Nine and three eighths. Ten and eight. Ten and a half. Ten and a quarter. Ten and three quarters. <laughs> hell almost 11 we'll just uh, evenly space out the bracing when we get there I'm gonna flip this over because I'm actually gonna use this as a work surface so when I'm working on the grass here I'll have a flat space to work well flat ish All right, so I got all my pieces cut, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna use this as sort of a flat surface to put things together. So I'm gonna come back and screw this off in a minute, but what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna just use some nails uh, in my air gun here, and this is a 16 gauge. I'm using two inch nails, and uh, I'm just gonna nail these corners together real quick, and then I'll come back and screw them together and make sure that we're square. yesterday was not a good day I don't know where my head was but I screwed up every dimension on this bed frame that you could I got the width wrong I got the length wrong I was over an inch here and a half an inch well five eighths this way fortunately I cut the five eighths before I cut the sheathing so I was able to trim one edge and fix it depth. this one is one inch too wide and so I have to take a half inch off of each side which makes me glad I used two by twos on this edge here instead of a one by two like was there so we got to change blades here i'm going to need my demo demon from diablo on this because i'm going to be cutting 
uh, staples. Next up, wrestling this up into its spot. And we'll do that here in just a bit. I'm gonna drink some water, take a little break, and catch you up here in just a bit. Okay, so I got an idea that I'm just gonna be able to slide this bed up here and set it on this shelf. And then I'll pull these ladders in to, to support this end of it. And then we'll get it all squared up. Fingers crossed. Yippin' dog. Slide up there. can slide this over and bring it up we gotta get it square in let's get a clamp on that all right now let's see if we can bring this down it needs to go in and down More, more hammer, more cowbell, please, more cowbell. Ah, well, that worked out better than I thought it was going to. Oops, except for that. Now, let's put this under here for blocking. This one under here for blocking. Oh my goodness. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so what I did here is uh, I drew myself a reference line so I knew to stay below this line when I'm screwing this in. I'm staggering the screws about four to six inches apart, and I'm pre-drilling with a 332nd bit. So when you're working alone, you gotta get inventive, and I needed to pull this bed frame in to the truck camper body. 
and I, it would be an okay with two people, but since I'm working alone, I just decided to use these straps. They worked perfectly. So now I'm gonna pre-drill for some three inch screws. They're gonna go in right here. Here's this shelf. And then uh, also we'll be screwing down from the top. But for now, we're gonna do this one here, but we don't need three inch for those because that's going into a one by two. All right, before we were so rudely interrupted by a dead battery, I was drilling these holes. So, giving you another little sneak peek here, which is a reminder to invite you to subscribe, ring the notification bell, you don't want to miss any videos, lots of good stuff still to come on the truck camper. I'm starting to get excited about the progress we're making. It's slow and steady, and that's really all you can expect. It's been awful hot, I have to knock off in the afternoons, I'm a wimp, I know, but why bother? It's This is a labor of love, it's not a job, I'm not you know, under the gun to get it done in any way. Uh, other than I'd like to have it done before the end of summer so I could do some camping in it this year. But that's another episode that you don't want to miss. If you'd like to support the channel in another way, I'd invite you to do so by visiting Amazon through the link in the video description. That'll take you to my Amazon store. Then you can depart from there and go anywhere on Amazon, buy what you want. I'll get a small commission. You'll pay the same price. And every little bit helps, and I thank you in advance for that. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Until we get together for another truck camper renovation video, peace.